Aortic disorders have a role in a wide range of vascular diseases that are recognized after a long time of asymptomatic progression. Acute clinical manifestations of these disorders are also possible. The aorta's biological and mechanical features are complicated, involving intrinsic relaxation and contraction that interact with left ventricular ejection to improve hemodynamics. Now, let's have a look at internal anatomy of aorta. The tunica intima, tunica media, and tunica adventitia make up the trilaminar wall of the aorta, which is shaped like a cane. The endothelium, subendothelial connective tissue, and an internal elastic lamina make up the tunica intima. Smooth muscle cells and an extracellular matrix make up the tunica media. It also includes a connective tissue adventitia that surrounds the vasa vasorum and the nervi vasicularis. The diameter of the ascending aorta varies based on age, gender, and body surface area. The male aorta is larger than the female aorta. Let's have a look at the aorta's functions. The aorta is the primary artery that transports blood away from the heart and throughout the body. After leaving the heart, blood flows in a cane-shaped curve through the aorta. The artery walls radially expand and compress as a result of this. The Arteries. kinetic is converted from the energy acquired from cardiac contraction in the systolic phase. Elastic tissue, collagen fibers, smooth muscle cells, and mucoid ground substances are the four components that vary with age. As a result, the aorta becomes less distensible, limiting its ability to absorb forces generated by left ventricular contraction. Hypertension is caused by an increase in the stiffness of the aorta wall. Now let's get started with diseases of aorta.